Hi, this is Karen O'Brien and I am going to walk you through how to set up Flow2D on your computer or how to update Flow2D on your computer. So we've just released build 22, uh, well, sorry, build 22.10.24. Jim and Noemi are calling it build 24, but I'm calling it build 22 because I go by year, they go by build number. <laughs> but anyway, so it's 22.10.24 and you can get it well you were probably sent this uh, newsletter and you can click on the download link and the download link will take you to our setup page and you can get the newsletter from our setup page so if you just click the download setup that will take you straight to share file and you probably need to enter your name and email don't worry we don't use that stuff we just try to uh, have you enter that just to keep bots out of the system then you click download and that will go to your download folder as a zipped file so one of the things you might want to do is go on to that and click properties and unblock it right here you may not have to do that and then extract it what you get are these four files right here now i'm going to switch over to my um virtual machine but let me go back here right quick so just to let you know that in addition to the uh, download link, the setup instructions are also down here, step-by-step -step setup instructions if you don't want to watch this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the virtual machine and just start this process. So now, as you can see, I already have Flow2D installed on this computer, so I am pretending that this will be an update, not a new install. All right? So... What I want to do to prep my computer for the install is go to C Drive, Users, Public, Public Documents, and then here you see we have the Flow2D Pro documentation. I've already done this once, so that's why this is still here, uh, but I'm going to do it again. So what we'll do is we'll set that to version 2.1. Oops, sorry, can't do that. Let me just see if I can delete that, and while that's deleting, will come here. We just rename this version 2.1 because we're pretending that this is the documentation for build 21. And we come back to the uh, flow, let's sorry, C drive, program files x86, flow 2D pro. And you can just, you if you want, you can delete this entire folder. But first I'm gonna grab out a couple of things out of here that will be updated. I don't think you need GDS, that, that you don't need GDS, just leave that alone. But a couple of things that will be updated, and I don't think you need max plot profiles or Hydrog because they'll probably work just fine with, there, there should be backward compatibility with that, but I'm gonna grab it anyway, and I'm going to copy those. And now take that back to the documentation folder we were just in, and let's just put, something in here called let's see did i already have it in there no i do not put something in here called uh flow 2d executables okay and then paste that in there and then if you want c drive program files x86 you can delete this or everything in here that needs to be updated will be updated because the installer runs a replacement called if newer all right, now we go back to installers. Wait, can we leave this here? Let's leave, let's go back and let's leave this here and let's go back to installers. Now this installer is the Flow2D setup. So you'll run this if you wanna load Flow2D on your computer. If you are a pro user, you will also need an activator. If you are a basic user, you don't you don't have an activator. So if you're a basic user, you won't have an activator. You'll be using basic. The limitations are you can only run a grid cell size of 100 foot, 30 meters or lower, and you can only have 50,000 or less grid elements, or you can run the self-help kit. So basic is really for training and small projects. All right, so we will go ahead and double click on this one to get it started and this does require admin rights this one requires admin rights this one requires admin rights the other two do not and that was my admin rights page I had to see admin no I don't want it to be silent because it's an update right it's an update in this case now if it's an update you uncheck these two and you just run everything else this will be updating everything in the flow 2d pro folder 
This will be updating everything in the documentation folder, and this will be adding the redistributables. We have C++ for Intel C++ packages, Intel Fortran packages, ver, let's see, it's Visual Studio C++ packages, and a HDF5 package. We'll just go ahead and start that install, and while it's doing it, Let's see, where is that right now? Now it's in the documentation folder. It's, ex it's extracting PowerPoint presentations and manuals and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and go to the documentation folder. C drive, users. It's a little slow because virtual computer doesn't have a ton of memory. Public, public documents, documentation. Now it's running. The, uh, in the background, it's now running the redistributables. So, example projects, you have your standard Flow2D examples. One thing you might note is I took out the GDS tutorials. That is now going, GDS, the GDS tutorials will now be installed using a different installer. So you will, you need to, if you want to use GDS and you want to teach someone how to use GDS, you're going to need to download and run the GDS setup um, like I'm, I, you still have access to GDS, but I took the tutorials out because I wanted to keep my installer size down. So that's in a different installer now. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so now we have the regular Flow2D examples, and you'll also get the other examples here. All right, so we, we also have the manuals, Flow2D manuals for all the 2022 manuals. Okay, and if you want the QGIS stuff too, you must run the QGIS documentation. So let's start with the activator. We ran Flow2D. Let's now run the activator. It's very simple and very fast. That's it, that's all it does. And then we run the plugin documentation installer. This one's not quite as fast because um, the virtual machine slows it down a little bit. It'll, it'll go much faster on your computer. And what it is doing is it is um, going to add the Flow2D uh, plugin docu uh, tech technical reference manual and the example projects. Sorry, I meant QGIS, not Flow2D. QGIS plug Flow2D plugin. And it should be, once it extracts all this stuff, it'll copy it over to the current location. Actually, it should be just extracting it right here, but I think it's extracting it to a temporary directory. Okay, and here we go. And then it just copies it over here, and you see here you get the technical reference manual. Uh, whoops, the old one's still in there. I need to take that out. And it gives you the QGIS tutorials, lesson one through six. Lesson one through six, go with the setup, lesson one through six right here. That's documentation.flow-2d.com. You'll get to that from the new release video, uh, newsletter, okay? Let's see, the next step, we did the activator, we did that. The next, the final step is to run the QGIS installer. So, I'm not gonna run this installer because I already have QGIS installed on my regular computer, but I'm gonna sh show you the process to get the setup started. So it'll be next, accept the license agreements for all of these, next, create a desktop, whatever you wanna do, do that here. I just do everything default, and then you click install, and that will run the installer. You don't have to do anything special, just run the installer. I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it on my computer. So now what we'll do, let's see, make sure I got everything. Yeah, everything is good. Minimize, oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. See, I know I took that GDS uh, tutorials out, but you still get GDS and Mapper. I just took the GDS tutorials out. You'll have to install those separately just because they are too big. I didn't want a one gigabyte installer. There's no need for that. Okay, now once you get to your, back on my regular computer, I'll show you that. What you get when you install QGIS is you get this guy on your desktop. It's just a folder with all of the shortcuts to all the stuff that comes with QGIS. Or you can 
uh, come in here and you can just QGIS and you always want QGIS desktop. If you have a bunch more QGI type of versions of QGIS, just be careful which one you use and make sure and completely close down one QGIS before opening another one. Don't bounce back and forth between them too, too much because that might mess up your profile. All right, let's go ahead and, okay, so I typically get to it from here and then I just double click this guy. I've already done that. It's open right here. And I already have everything installed, but I'm going to show you the process of how I got it. So this is your Flow 2D plugin here. This is the Profiles plugin. This is Quick Map Services right here. And we also have Crayfish. We added that. And we also have, I think it's called Quick Map Services, or no, not Quick Map Services the curve number generator and the curve number generator. Ooh, where did it go? It used to be down here. Let's see, plugins. Ooh, it doesn't like me right now for some reason. Well, let's try it again. Okay, so in order to get these plugins, well, you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm sorry. First, you need to go to settings. If you haven't done this before, you need to go to settings and then you need to go to options and you need to go to coordinate reference system and just make sure that this is checked and then click OK. Then you need to go to uh, the plugin manager, manage and install plugins. And let's just go to all. Well, actually, we can start with, yeah, let's start with install from zip. So you can load Flow2D first or you can load the others first. It doesn't matter. But basically, you go to install from zip, you navigate to your plugin, and you click open, and then you install the plugin. I'm not going to do it because it's already on my computer, just, but that's the process. It's that simple. Then you'll get a little blue message up here that the plugin was installed. If you get an error message and you restart everything and you try again and you still get an error message, let me know. I can, I'll figure out what's going on and help you fix it. All right, all plugins. Now you need to start with all plugins. I usually start with profile tool. Here's your profile tool. And then over down here, you'll see install. And then you'll go quick map services. No, nope, it's all one word. Quick map services is right here. If you need to upgrade or you need to add it, you'll see you'll be able to do that right here. And then finally is the curve number generator. And curve number generator, it looks like it just keeps turning it off. Oh, okay. And then you'll click install or whatever. And I'll just click, let's see, did I miss one? Yeah, crayfish. And then there'll be crayfish and crayfish again, and you just click, click it and click install or update or whatever you have to do. And then you click close. So let's see if I just click close. And then over here, I don't know if you noticed it, but over here, plugins. Oh, curve number generator used to be right here, but I think now it's just in the processing toolbox. And I think the first time you use it, it might ask you for your email or something like that. The first time you log into it, it might ask you for your email. Um, okay, next is, and I think it's because that site, uh, that NLCD and SSURGO site want your email sometimes. All right, now what what's next? Um, let's see, the next thing is, oh, when you first start up QGIS, you might have a panel right here set to browser. I'm gonna show you how to close that. Let me turn it right, right. Let me turn it on real quick. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. So you're going to see this browser panel and it's probably going to be right here. And then your layers panel is going to be right here. I don't use this, but if you use it, you can keep it, but mat, but meld it into your layers panel. So you'll pick it up right here with a left mouse click, drag it until the whole panel turns blue and then drop it or you can just turn it off with the little X. Um, what else? Oh, if you have issues with any of the visuals in QGIS, sometimes QT creator windows are a little squished. You need to make a quick change to that. So if you go to the user manual right here, it's going to take you here um, and you're going to go to view options and that'll show you how to set up your view options uh, where you add the QT screen scale factor and you can uh, tinker with these guys in the general options 
to make sure that you can see things the way that you want them. So this is font size and icon size and stuff like that. I have to change all that every time I do a short course because of the way the projector screen works. Um, let's see, that was it. So now once you've done that, everything is ready. So the very next uh, thing that you will do if you're training or learning how to use Flow2D is you come back here to the setup page, go to lesson one, and you have the video right here that walks you through lesson one, and then you have the step-by-step -step instructions here that tell you open QGIS, and these, look, these images, that's 3.22.7, so these images might not be perfect, but uh, don't worry so much, they work. Now, if you see an image here, like you can't see the words, you just right-click, open in a new tab, Google does not scale these very well, so maybe use Firefox or something, or Foxfire, I think it's called, and then you see the full image. Um, but I've been doing it this way and it works just fine for me. And then the first thing it asks you to do is to, I don't know if I have everything on my computer right now, but we're about to find out. The first thing it asks you to do is to add, yeah, see I've got my GDS tutorials here, is to add the project domain from um, the, the lesson one. And as soon as you do that, it will that will set the coordinate system for your project. And we are using Arizona Central. Uh, and then I think Arizona, this is just your standard Arizona Central with the units of US feet or feet or whatever. Okay, so that's it. And then you just, fall, fin, you know, you just continue on with the lesson, but that's it. it means your computer is installed. And then of course, if you have any problems, you just send me an email, karen at flow-2d.com and we'll sort out any problems for you. So thank you. I hope you enjoy Flow2D. I hope it's a useful tool for you. And please remember your tech support, karen at flow-2d.com. Thank you.